I never thought I'd say this, but finally, 2020 is over. Kind of a crazy year, right? Like we have been living so differently. We need products that are going to help us survive and we're no longer buying things just to buy things. So I did a full roundup of everything that I used, abused and loved like crazy this entire year. Everything this video is making it into 2021 for me. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Get your notepad, relax, get a snack and let's just talk about everything that I loved in 2020. Please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and comment down below what your favorite product was in 2020 and why it helped you survive this year. All right, let's get into it. All right, I have a ton of things over here. I'm going to just reach for something and tell you why I like it. Let's start off with cleansers. I have used a million cleansers this year. This was definitely the year for me where I tried so many different things because I had the ability to. And the cleanser that I reached for the most, the one that I abused the most, the one that I was obsessing over the most was this one. And I don't even know if I've talked about it on camera before. So this is the Bavara Exfoliating Cleanser CBD Infused Cleanser. So the reason why I like this cleanser is because it has exfoliating beads in it, but it is eco-friendly because the beads I believe are made from something to do with the earth. I want to say it's made with like, oh, let me see. I, I honestly have no idea. It was rough enough to give my skin the exfoliation that it needs, but it wasn't too rough that it broke me out. I didn't feel any dryness. It was just the perfect cleanser for me and I reached for it the most, which is why we're talking about it today. So if you guys want to pick up a good cleanser that's going to give you that nice exfoliation, it's going to remove dead skin, it's going to keep you bright and beautiful, this one will be the one for you. And I do mask occasionally. I love to try new masks. I love to just experiment. This mask I can always fall back on. It's the Murad Clarifying Mask. It's for acne. I love it because I was breaking out so much this year. Wearing a mask really took a toll on my skin. And by a mask, I don't mean this mask, I mean a face mask. And I have found that this mask really clears it up, allows my skin to just kind of purge everything. So having this and keeping this near me really helps alleviate the stress of knowing that I will break out later. And it just helps clean out the skin completely. And I've talked about this several times. I've done sponsored videos with this. I've done unsponsored videos. This is an unsponsored video. The belief True Cream Aqua Bomb has been my absolute go-to for moisturizing in the summer and now in the winter. I have went through an entire container of this. This is my second one. It is so moisturizing. It really makes my skin feel amazing. It's perfect, and I mean perfect, underneath makeup. Like, it's that base that I need to like give me that slippery feel so that my makeup doesn't go on patchy and chalky, but it also isn't too oily. So I love this so much. I reach for it almost every single day, multiple times a day and I had to kind of include it in this video even though it wasn't a sponsor. I want you guys to know I really love it. Okay, let's talk about hydrating face oils because let's just be for real, we do need an oil from time to time. I honestly use oils in summer and in winter. I like them in summer when I can just have a bare face, put a little oil on, go out, and it looks glistening. But I also like oil to help with dryness. And this is my favorite oil of all time. It's the Pharmacy Honey Grail Facial Oil. It's so thick like honey. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just very rich, beautiful, and it makes the skin feel so luxurious. I actually have a million backups on my cabinet because I love it this much. It's just the best oil. It's so thick, but it's not thick to where it makes your skin look oily. It makes it look hydrated and that's what I like. So Pharmacy Honey Grail is a really nice high-end option. And I also have a dupe or not really so much a dupe, but I have a lower end option. And this is e.l.f. 100 mg CBD facial oil. This e.l.f. one is just as good. It's a little bit thinner, but it's amazing. I love actually pairing this with my makeup when I wanna just kind of give it a little bit more of a dewy finish. I love this e.l.f. facial oil and I've actually talked about this several times in my videos. I use this a lot in the summer and I'm actually still using it now in the winter. Every once in a while, I'll blend it in with like a thick foundation. And I just like having good facial oils that don't break me out, that make my skin look really healthy. And it's just really great. So I love this one. I think you guys will too. And it's a cheaper, more affordable option than pharmacy. But if you guys want to splurge, I would suggest to get the pharmacy one. <laughs> All right, let's just stick to the face. I wanna talk about my favorite bronzer. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in Three Tan. So I love this bronzer because it is so beautiful with my skin complexion. I've always struggled with having bronzers that were either too red, too yellow, too orange, or too gray. 
This is very neutral, it's in the middle. I do heavy hand put it on occasionally, so that's why you'll see like a total bronzer moment. But if I wanted to go really light with this, it would look so beautiful like skin. I love the way the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers and also setting powders, how they finish. Like they finish like skin and that's what I like. So if you guys are looking for more skin-like bronzer, something that will warm up your face, that won't look textured, you'll love this one. And it's just amazing. And it's huge and it comes with a beautiful mirror. So there's never a time in a video where you guys don't ask me what's on my lips and I comment the exact same thing every time and I'm always wearing Fenty Fussy. This has been my go-to lip gloss most of the year and it's just my go-to. I don't put lipstick underneath it. I don't do anything crazy. I just line my lips with a brown lip liner and I will apply this on top and it is so stunning. It just looks really good with you know, your lips because it's kind of pink like lips. So it looks like lips, just glossy. I wore the Diamond Milk prior to this one and it was beautiful, but it was more white on the lips where this just looks like lips. So I love this and this is what I'm wearing in almost every single one of my videos. If you guys are asking, that's what I have on. And for foundation, it's Hourglass Vanish Stick in Golden Almond. This is my go-to foundation. It has been so easy to apply this during quarantine. You literally just all over your face and you rub it in with a brush and you're good to go. And what I love about Hourglass Vanish Sticks is that they are so full coverage and it does not budge under a mask, which I love. I feel like most foundations are really slippery under a mask. You take your mask off, it's like, oh, where even is it? This will always be on your face no matter what kind of day it is, no matter what mask you're wearing, you are gonna still see this underneath after you take it off. As always, I have always, and I mean always advocated for the Laneige lip mask. I use it in the um, the flavor, I guess you can say, vanilla. I like this one better because it's a little bit less smelly and I don't really like too much smell on my lips. This has been probably used every single day, if not twice a day, all year. And I just find that it's perfect for out of the shower. It's perfect for when you wake up in the morning. It's perfect before you do your makeup. This right here has saved my lips. I used to be that girl that would put on lip gloss with chapped disgusting lips and now I feel like my lips always look beautiful before putting on lip gloss because I wear this every day and I don't find that it dries my lips over time like other chopsticks or lip butters that I've had in the past. So this is going to be my favorite forever probably. And for those long annoying days where you just don't want to take off your makeup and you want something to help, you know, take off the makeup a little bit easier, I have been using the Belief Aqua Bomb Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. Every time I wear makeup, I leave it in my shower. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I do. And I will just melt off my makeup and I love that it doesn't burn my eyes. It takes it off in one cleansing system. I will still cleanse my face with a cleanser, but I don't have to remove my makeup twice with a makeup remover. I like this because it really helps with my multiple layers of makeup. It gets the eyeliner off, it gets the mascara off, it gets the makeup off, and I just really find this is the best that I've used thus far. <laughs> Okay, so you guys already know that I do use laser hair removal at home, but occasionally I will shave. I shave certain parts of my body every once in a while, and this shaving cream is my favorite. It's the Glee Shave Mousse in Summer Lily. It just smells really good, it works really good, it moisturizes the skin, and it allows the razor to just slip and slide across your skin with no irritation. I find that shaving creams are always fun to use. I've never had an issue with many of them, but I do think that some of them don't last as long, and I've had this since the beginning of January. So if I'm using this every once in a while and it's still here, I'm going to give it points for that because it hasn't ran out. So I've had this for a minute now and I just think it's great and it's a good shaving cream. I believe they sell this at Walmart. So pick it up and let me know what you think. So it was hard to pick a body wash. So I kind of wanted to use a generic answer for this. The Dove Restoring Coconut Butter and Cocoa Butter one has been the one I've been using, but any Dove creamy, delicious, amazing body wash is what I always gravitate towards. I have tried other ones this year and I freaking hated them. I won't even mention them, but this is something that I always go back to because it's creamy. It feels like lotion in the shower. It lathers beautifully. It helps wash your body nicely. And I walk out of the shower every single time feeling amazing. So I have to shout out Dove, my favorite of all time. And I've tried high end and lower end. And this is the one that I always go back to. And it was also difficult finding like a lotion or a cream or an oil that I love, but I wanted to pick something that I know that I used daily. So this one right here, here is the Moroccan Oil Body Night Serum. I use this every single evening before bed 
and I use it and I feel like it helps tighten my neck and keep my decollete looking beautiful. You guys always compliment my neck and my chest and my shoulders, which is such a random thing to compliment, but I do notice those in the comments occasionally. And I do want to pay homage to the Moroccan oil line because I find that this stuff right here, it's thin enough that it doesn't keep you oily before bed, but it's thick enough that you feel like it's working. So I find that this is helping to firm and tighten my skin and keep me looking beautiful. And I have to say that this is my favorite of all time, honestly. And for the summertime, which I, you know, spent a lot of time in the summer doing self-care, the Kiehl's Nourishing Dry Body Oil has been amazing. Not only does it smell good, but it makes you look sexy as hell. You look so good in a bathing suit. You look so good with a crop top on. You look so good with a low cut dress on. And this has been my go-to. So these are like my two favorite body products at the moment. And I reach for them constantly. <laughs> It was extremely difficult to round up my favorite perfumes because the ones that were my favorite in the beginning of the year changed and I just wanted to pick ones that I love right now that I used in some point of the year that I still am using so much. So the first one is the Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar. I actually talked about this in my newest perfume video. It smells so sweet and beautiful. I have to spray it on myself because when do I not? It's so unique, it's florally sweet, and kind of musky all in one. It's beautiful and it's very strong. So I do like that as well. And I also love Vanilla Woods. I love this to mix with other fragrances. I love having a perfume to do that with because I never had that before where I felt like a perfume was basic enough to mix. This right here, it just smells like straight up vanilla. So you can mix it with any fragrance and it smells beautiful. So I have been using this a lot. It doesn't look like I have, but I have been. And my other two faves are Ellis Brooklyn Myth. This right here is so beautiful to me. It's unique, it's different. It's different than I've ever smelled before. It's a little bit on the mature side, but in a good way, and it's clean. I like it a lot, and I have found that I've reached for this almost every single day. And then the last one is the Killian Love Don't Be Shy. This is apparently Rihanna's signature fragrance. Freaking love this smell. It smells like marshmallows and just delicious. You know, if you were to imagine what like a, a strawberry shortcake type of girl would smell like, it would be this. It's so sweet and fun. Um, I also love to mix this with other fragrances. I will say that it doesn't last as long as my other perfumes, but it does smell really amazing and I've been wearing this often as well. <laughs> Okay, so when it comes to my hair, I have been struggling during quarantine. I actually learned how to do my own hair during quarantine. Like, wow, it took me 23 years to get to this point. And I have been using two products that have really saved my hair and have allowed me to do so many different styles. So this right here is the Murray Superior Hair Dressing Pomade. It allows me to do this type of look. It allows me to do high ponies, buns, whatever I need as a protective style, I use this. And what I like is it helps straighten out my edges. So if I don't wanna have to go back in with a flat iron and I wanna just have a nice pretty style, I can use this and it will kind of straighten out the edges. You don't have to go back in with a flat iron and destroy them. And I also use, and before I'm about to blow dry, I always use the Garnet Fructis Sleek and Shine. This is the best hair oil ever because it doesn't weigh down your hair. If you have hair similar to mine where it's like very thick, very dry, but you wanna make sure that it looks really bouncy when you blow it out, this is really great for that because if you use a good amount, it will not leave your hair oily, but it will kind of make it shiny and make it feel very soft and silky. So these are the two products that I use constantly to achieve all my hairstyles. Okay, so I haven't talked about Feminine Wash in a really long time. I have been using the Love Wellness pH Balancing Cleanser for a more natural personal care cleanser. I like this because it doesn't have a smell to it. I feel like every other pH wash that I've used for down there has always had a smell and this one doesn't. It just smells like nothing. So it helps keep me clean, it lathers beautifully, and it's just like the perfect feminine care wash. I actually picked this up at Ulta a while ago and I've been using it every single day and it doesn't run out, literally not at all. So it's perfect for that. And I have been using Poopery Before You Go Toilet Spray in Original Citrus. I just moved in with my boyfriend this year. We actually have lived together for years, but I've been using the guest bathroom to have as my own personal bathroom while he uses the second bathroom that's in the bedroom. And I find that if I'm using the guest bathroom, I wanna make sure that when I use it, you know, it always smells good because it's where guests use the bathroom, it's where I use the bathroom, and I just want it to always smell good. So to have poopery has been a saving grace and I've used this many, many, many times so that my apartment doesn't smell like 
And for obvious reasons, I've been using hand sanitizer. I love this one right here because it's a spray hand sanitizer. This is from the brand Breathe. You literally spray it and you're good to go. This has been in my car, okay? Like every day after I go out shopping, I spray it on my hands and it feels super nice and light and it's just the perfect hand sanitizer that doesn't dry out your hands. I hate when my hands feel dry after using too much soap or using too much alcohol on it. It's just too much. So this is nice and light. It helps clean your hands, but it doesn't dry your hands out, which we want to take really good care of our hands during this time because there's a lot of hand washing and there's a lot of just, you know, you already know what it is. So I've been using this one and I've been loving it. Now I wanna talk about some random things here. When it comes to hair, I have been doing a lot of protective styles and this one right here is my go-to and I'm using Bellamy Clip-In Hair Extensions. I will link them down below for you guys so you guys know exactly where to get them. I have very short hair, not like too short, but it's like up to here. And I've been doing styles like this like for a while now and it just allows me to kind of change up my look every once in a while and make me look different. And these have been really nice so that I don't have to wear wigs all the time. So if you're looking for more cuter styles, you can do ponytail and half a pat downs and even wear your hair down, this is the type of thing that you need to get for yourself. And my most loved bag of 2020 has been my Fendi purse. I have loved this bag so much all year. It actually comes with another strap so I can wear it over the shoulder. I can hold it close to me like this. And it's been my bag that I've used all year. I don't know if you guys remember when I did my what's in my bag video when I first got it. And I've worn it every single day and I just bought myself a new purse for Christmas. Now it's gonna go on a shelf. So I wanted to show you guys what my everyday bag was. It was the perfect purse and it's so structured and so beautiful. I just love this bag so much. I want you guys to kind of see it up close. It might not be perfect looking anymore because I've worn it every day, but I have loved it so much. And my most loved shoes of 2020 were my Yeezy slides. I wore these probably every single day. I am such a slides girl because I hate wearing socks. I don't know why I just hate wearing socks. So to wear slides every day seemed to make sense. And these were the ones that I loved because they're very structured. They don't fall off your feet easily, which is nice. And they just been the perfect target, grocery shopping, mall, around town type of shoes. I've been loving them and they match everything because they're neutral, so it's perfect. And I've worn these until they looked like this, which is not so great. And the other shoes that I have been wearing are my Yeezy 350s, God, I'm so bad with shoes. My Yeezy 350s in Sesame, ugh, please don't quote that, but I have been wearing these since, honestly, since last year, but these have been my go-to sneakers for the winter time and for the fall. I've just loved these every day. Again, I wear these like it's nothing, and I wanted to emphasize on the things that I actually wear. I know that a lot of people will recommend things that they do every once in a while, but these are things that I love and wear it's and have and cherish every and I think that that is everything for 2020. All of my self-care favorites, all my skincare favorites. And I just think that it's been just a wild year. I feel like I have been used a lot of self-care, but I had to really sit down and think of all the things that I genuinely use every day and love. And that's pretty much what I talked about in today's video. So let me know if you guys own any of the things in this video already and if you loved them or hated them. And again, don't forget to comment down below what your favorites were of this year because I'm honestly looking for and hoping that it's going to be a better year than this was this year. And I'm wishing you guys a lot of love, peace, and happiness. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.